morning. I'm Steve Kay, council member at large, Urban County Government, and I'm here this morning with Rocky Burke, and we want to talk a little bit about what's happening with Lextran. Uh, the traffic you hear in back of us is we're standing on the corner of Loudon and Lime in front of the old Kitchen Planning Center. So let's start with that, Rocky. This building, what's going to happen with it? Well, we, we purchased this building in the early uh, 2002, I guess, yeah. with the intent to eventually make this the, um, the headquarters for Lextran. Our uh, you know, office right now is just down the block a little ways, but uh, the plan after you know eight, nine years is that we're going to uh, hopefully occupy this building in some form. We, uh, we will bring all of our operations folks into here, uh, all as well as the administrative staff. Mm -hmm. And uh, right now, you know, it's, it's projected to be about $11, $12 million project. Okay, most of the money coming from? Most of the money's coming from uh, federal grants that we've got. We've got a state of good repair grant that was specifically for renovation and building new maintenance and operations facilities. Okay. So uh, we've got, we've got the, uh, the money in place for it right now, and it's just a matter of uh, breaking ground and starting some construction. Uh, all right. The big issue right now is uh, is whether we're going to renovate the building or build something new and that sort of thing. So, so what are the issues? I know this this used to be a, a, a way back. I guess it was a bus depot. So Several, it's got some transportation links and. Yes, sir. It's, you know, from almost uh, you know the early 20s, I guess this has been uh, some form of public transportation on this corner, and uh, the company that actually was the uh, preceded Greyhound. Yeah. Uh, had their headquarters here. Okay. So uh, that was, like I say, the building was put up in 1928, I think. So from that time on, it's been public transportation. So obviously, it's very old. So there's some historic value, at least to the site. Right. And uh, but of course, the building's been here for many, many years. So right now, we're just trying to decide. Uh, uh, our architects and, and contractors deciding if it's feasible to to do some renovations with it, or or is it we simply can't yeah. do it. Well, and I know you've talked to some of the neighbors as well, people who are working on There's a lot of renovation going on. There is. Uh, their sentiment and how that's going to kind of factor in? You know, I think what, what I'm hearing from the Neighborhood Association, they would love for us to, to save the building if we can. Yeah. They like the facade and things like that, but at the same time, I think they're, they're reasonable and know that, that if it's not cost effective to do that. What yeah. they would like then is to at least build something that's appropriate for this urban renewal that's going on in this area sure. and uh, really make this a catalyst for the neighborhood. Uh, you know, we're trying right now to build something uh, that will at least uh, allow them to use part of the building, for example, a conference room that they can use for neighborhood association okay. meetings and things like that. Uh, you know, the landscaping and things like that, make it attractive to the mm -hmm. neighborhood and, and inviting. You know, we hope people will come to this part of town just to see our building, actually. Yeah. Best of all possible worlds, finished by when? You know, if things would go right, we'd start some demolition probably in the, in the fall. And, uh, you know, and my, my hope would be, you know, by, by uh, sometime in, in 2013, we'd, we'd be ready to, you know, begin operations. Okay, again. I'm sure that the neighbors are looking forward to that. Um, so let, let's we'll take a brief break and then we'll come back and talk a little bit more about some of the other things going on with Lextran. Become a fan. Become a Facebook fan of Lexington, Kentucky's Parks and Recreation. Get the latest details on upcoming events, project updates, and volunteer opportunities. Never miss a registration or cancellation date for athletic signups, swimming lessons, summer camps, riding lessons, or special events. For additional information, call 859-288-2900. Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. or visit us on the web at www.lexingtonky.gov slash parks. Welcome back. We've moved to the bus yard and we're standing in front of uh, new purchases, not yet even on the street. You get your first peek at these buses. <laughs> we're going to ask Rocky to tell us a little bit about what you see behind us. Yeah, it's a really, really exciting for us. Uh, we, we purchased uh, seven new buses. And uh, of the seven, the five of them are 29 foot, which uh, the community, since I've been the GM here, have asked many, many times about when are you going to start buying smaller buses yep. for, for some of the routes that, that, that need a big bus. So, so 29 is smaller than 29, smaller the traditional than the, the 40 foot. Is 40 foot, yeah. okay. So, uh, so these buses will seat the, the 29 footer, about uh, 26 people, and room for probably another 15 or 20 to stand and that sort of thing. Okay. So uh, we'll put them on our uh, lighter 
utilize routes mm -hmm. and that sort mm -hmm. of thing. So that's pretty exciting. And then before you before you before you say more about yeah. the buses, because one thing that people say to me all the time, they see the buses going by, they don't see that many people on there. And I say, from what I know from having been on the board of Lextran, ridership is going up. That's still the case. Ridership is going up, but last month it was 22 percent up over the same time last year. Really. And I guess prices have probably contributed some to that, but okay. still, I, I believe that the, just the improvements to the bus system and a lot mm -hmm. of people rode during WEG last year and experienced the transit system. Right. You know, I say, experienced it again, I guess. A lot of people probably rode 20, 30 years ago and are okay. coming back to ride again. So average ridership going up on an annual basis about what? I think this past year we were up close to 6, 7 percent, uh, I believe, total is okay. what it was for the, for the past year. but. Uh, you know, and honestly, uh, in three years, I don't think I've seen a month where it's gone down. Right. It's, it's been a steady increase for us. Okay. Well, that's good. That's good news for the community. It really is. So now, tell me a little bit about. Yeah, tell us a little bit about this, right. these buses. Well, like I said, the, the smaller bus is 29 foot, and uh, one of the other neat things about it, if you look at it, it doesn't look like any of the other buses we have. We put a new uh -huh. paint scheme on it, so we got the silver and the greens and the blues and that sort of thing, and, and a new logo is on the bus. So. Uh, we just trying to jazz up the bus system a little bit, make it look a more, a little more friendly, more professional, and that sort of thing. And really happy with that. This, this other one that we've got sitting here, it actually has the cloud pattern on it, and that's for a reason. This is a, one of the hybrid electric buses, so it's much uh, cleaner than, the, you know, the typical diesel bus. Mm -hmm. It runs on hybrid electric technology, much like a Toyota Prius or something like that that you could buy for yourself or a, a Ford Escape and mm -hmm. that sort of thing. But uh, Again, uh, the, the the greens and the blues and that sort of thing, the new logo on, and uh, you know, and of course these hybrid buses, uh, you know, they're less expensive to operate. You know, rather than getting about uh, three miles to the gallon with a diesel, we get uh, you know five to six somewhere in that that uh, that range. Uh, the brake life is dramatically improved, uh, and of course, it, it's a lot cleaner for the environment. Right. So so looking ahead. You think as the as you retire old buses that these are the kinds of buses that are likely to be the replacements? Well, you know, there's a huge cost difference between a diesel and a hybrid, so it's kind right. of one of those things that you know. In the past, we've tried to sort of each order of buses been a little bit of a balance between diesels and hybrids and that sort of thing, but. But as far as uh, you know, trying to make the fleet greener and that sort of thing, uh, yeah. this is a technology that we're going to be purchasing. Yes, sir. You know, it's just that we're trying to be more efficient, you know, with the, with the fleet here and 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 size our buses to the routes uh, and that sort of thing. So as I said, if if we don't have a tremendous amount of ridership on a route, we put the smaller buses and and those kinds of things to just be be more efficient. Yeah. So we're trying to get a good mix of our fleet so that we can do that. So we'll have the 40 foot and we'll have the 29 foot and that sort of thing. So. Uh, Again, pretty pretty excited about it, and and uh, uh -huh. we can't uh, can't wait to you know, miss this on the public. <laughs> and and when the, again, the time frame Pro probably another week or so. You know, we've got to get the tags and the insurances yeah. and those kinds of things. And of course, there has to be a certain amount of driver training that takes place right. in, in that. But uh, so okay, one to two weeks. Good. Well, we'll we'll take another short break, and we're going to get on a bus and show you some of the new technology that relates to riders and fares. Become a fan. Become a Facebook fan of Lexington, Kentucky's Parks and Recreation. Get the latest details on upcoming events, project updates, and volunteer opportunities. Never miss a registration or cancellation date for athletic sign-ups, swimming lessons, summer camps, riding lessons, or special events. For additional information, call 859-288-2900 Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. or visit us on the web at www.lexingtonky.gov slash parks. We're back again. This time we're on that one of these new buses, and I can tell you it has that new bus smell. The <laughs> tags are still hanging on the seats. I'm going to ask Rocky to explain some about the new technology. It's not just on this bus, but it's being installed on all the buses in the Lextran system. So what's, you. what's going on here? You know, uh, lots of, uh, of neat things. Uh, uh, with some of the uh, uh, American Recovery and Stimulus money, we were able to, to buy a lot of neat things for the bus system that typically we wouldn't have been able to do. And, one of the neat things is, is the new fare boxes. For example, this is a, an electronic registering fare box. Uh, before, someone would get on the bus, and it was just a little glass container, if you will, and people would put their fares in it. But with this, uh, we're able to tell exactly uh, what kind of fare a person is using. 
um, you know, whether a senior. So it's getting a on one time or a pass or a thirty day or exactly it, it, senior it, whatever. It takes everything, you know, mm -hmm. and and, uh, and it it allows us to tell exactly you know how, how many people are riding the bus on each and every route. What time are they getting on? Uh, what kind of fares being being used and that sort of thing. So I'm being able to get a lot of information out of the fare box to again make the bus system uh, much more efficient. So that's one of the things. The other. Uh, a uh, neat thing that we've been able to do is um, we've purchased security cameras for all of our buses. Uh, each bus will have seven cameras on it so that uh, mm. we can, you know, monitor the things that are going on the bus. A lot of uh -huh. people sometimes say they don't like to ride the public transit system for safety reasons and things like that. With this, uh, they, they should know that everything's being filmed and if an incident would ever take place on the bus, we're able to capture that. Um, at the same time, you know, if an accident takes place, we're able to record that kind of information. So, so that was really, uh, really good for us. And one of the other things that uh, probably in August we'll start piloting the program, which I'm really excited about, is uh, we're putting uh, an automated vehicle locator GPS system on our bus. Okay. And the big benefit of that is, uh, you know, when someone, you know, is at a bus stop and, and they think the bus is late or just curious about when is the bus coming, mm -hmm. uh, you'll be able to, to access that information via your telephone uh, or your cell phone or, or calling into customer service and they'll be able to tell you exactly where the bus is and what time it will be arriving at your stop. Quite like they do at, you know, all well, the major cities or if you're at an airport and you're waiting on the shuttle bus to your rental car or things like mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's uh, really neat for us that's it's coming, on, coming on board and putting that on all the buses. So it's pretty neat. Okay, so and again, this system will be installed by when? Uh, well, again, it will be a kind of a long process, but the, but the um, uh, start will be probably in August. You know, they'll, they'll come in and and probably pilot one or two of the buses to make sure that things are working the way ah. that, that, they, that they'd hoped it to. But uh, So hopefully, I think that the actual uh, required date for them to be finished is the first of the year. So it will take several months to get it you know, completely worked out. But, but that's something that's really new for us. And of course, there'll be, in addition to that, uh, electronic passenger counters. So when you get on and get off, we'll know exactly how many people are getting on at each stop. And again, giving me more, in me more information about our ridership and, and what routes are more productive than others and those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. Well, great. Is there anything else that's going on that we uh, should let the public know about? Anything? And this is a lot. Yeah. I mean, you've got new buses yeah. and Well, you know, one of the other neat things about this AVL GPS system that I, I did fail to mention is uh, there will be a, a automatic uh, voice announcing system on the bus. Uh, for example, for people with disabilities, uh, uh, vision disabilities, for example, uh, if we come to a major intersection, the bus is programmed to make that announcement that you're at the corner of Loudon and Limestone, for example, and things like that, so that the operator doesn't have to doesn't have to do that. It also allows the opportunity to make lots of public service announcements on the bus. You know, it will just be a continuous kind mm -hmm. of a running thing. Um, in addition to that, we hope that we'll be able to, uh, for pedestrian safety, for example, when the bus is making a turn, uh, there will be an exterior announcement of, say, bus turning. So that if you're right. at, a, at a crosswalk or at a corner, you know, that, that announcement will come on so people will Neat. know the bus is turning and uh -huh. those kinds of things. So a lot of, a lot of functionality of the, of the automated voice enunciator. So we're looking forward to getting that as well. Well, well great. Uh, thank you, Rocky, for taking the time. Um, Another do. cool thing is we're going to have a brand new website. Okay. So you can go to that <laughs> website and find out anything you would ever care about at Lextran. So we, we encourage people to do that. That's probably the first place we go to put, put new things about the bus system on our website. So. So, so if they just good. Google Lextran or put in Lextran, Lextran it's going to pop com. right up. <laughs> and it'll, it'll pop up there and you can go to it and plan your route to figure out your fares and all those kinds of things. It's, it's really cool on the website. Great. Well, again, thank you for taking the time to be with us. Thank you for watching. And I'd encourage you to, if you haven't been doing that, take a trip on Lextran.